Greetings from the great state of Texas and welcome everyone to my word of the week. Today I want to talk about deep waters. Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 and 2 says, But now thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. My friend, these are beautiful words here in the Old Testament from God to his people. And we can take these same words as children of the Most High God and let them sink deep down into our hearts and grasp a hold of them and not let them go. Because, friend, we have been redeemed by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are now God's people. Amen. And, friend, God's people will face trials. But we have the promises of God's presence and salvation. The water, river, and fire represent afflictions, trials, and difficulties we face. But thank God He is with us in our most troubling times. We live in a world where people have free will and can cause us pain. We live in a world where things happen and we don't know why. But God is constantly working in all things, constantly working all things out for His will. And He has compassion for us. He loves us. We are His good work, His precious ones. Amen. So let the words of Isaiah the prophet sink deep down into your heart. God has called your name. He says you are mine. You belong to him. What an amazing thought. In my life today, I belong to God. You belong to God. And then he starts giving these promises based on who we are. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. The Lord has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. No matter what life may throw at us, we are redeemed by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been bought with a price. We belong to the Father and His favor is upon all His children. He has promised to cover us with his gentle calm and protect us by his perfect peace when our hearts rest in him. We have an assurance that the promises of God's protection and his help are available for all who trust in his name. The children of Israel, <coughs> excuse me, the children of Israel walked through the Red Sea on dry land. And yet the same waters submerged the enemies of the Lord. The children of Israel walked across the River Jordan on dry land. And the flames that were heated seven times hotter did not singe a single thread on the garments of Daniel's three companions. And yet they consumed those that would throw them in to the flames. The children of Israel faced a physical enemy, and God protected them. We face a spiritual enemy, but his protection and help is equally sure and steadfast for all who are called by his name. So let us trust God at his word. Let us believe what God has said and rest in the knowledge that it is the God of the universe who says to each one of us, when you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. 
when the river of difficulty swirl around, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up, and the fiery flames will not consume you. The truth of God's word has been tried and tested by a multitude of saints down through the centuries who not only trusted him for their salvation, but continued to trust him through all circumstances of life. For he has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So let us trust in God, the God of our salvation, in all things too. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me say that again. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Now let that sink in. What he's saying here, he is not saying that God's people as sons and daughters, his children, that things are going to be easy for us in this world. He's talking about passing through waters and through rivers. He says when you walk through the fire, not if you walk through the fire, he's saying you're going to walk through fire. You're going to pass through deep waters and rivers. My friend, things are not always going to go well for you. <clears throat> and friend, there is by no means anywhere in Scripture that when we trust in God, we won't experience trials in this world. We will experience trials. But the beauty is, my friend, the God who redeemed us, the God who called our name, the God whom we belong, he will be with us and he will bring us through. So for those who may be listening to this message today, I want you to know that God's presence is with you and that you are his precious ones, that you are precious to God and he has called you by name. And if you're walking through a trial right now, Know that God is right there with you. And God's keeping power will keep you. God will enable you to stand in the middle of the trial. He will bring you through deep waters and through fiery trials. And you shall not be overtaken by them. If you will only trust in him. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like that song, I Am Not Alone. It goes, when I walk through deep waters, I know that you will be with me. When I'm standing in the fire, I will not be overcome. Through the valley of the shadow, I will not fear. I am not alone. I am not alone. You will go before me. You will never leave me. In the midst of deep sorrow, I see your light is breaking through. The dark of night will not overtake me. I am pressing into you, Lord. You fight every battle. Oh, and I will not fear. You amaze me. Redeem me. You call me as your own. You're my strength. You're my defender. You're my refuge in the storm. Through the trials, you've always been faithful. You bring healing to my soul. I am not alone. I am not alone. You will go before me. You will never leave me. Amen. <clears throat> I like that song. So Isaiah chapter 43 and verses 1 and 2 says, But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, your mind. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. 
When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the, nor shall the flames scorch you. Again, friend, there is by no means anywhere in Scripture that when we trust in God, we won't experience trials in this world. We will experience trials, but the beauty is, my friend, the God who redeemed us, the God who called our name, the God whom we belong, he will be with us and he will bring us through. So for those who may be listening to this message, I want you to know God's presence is with you and that you are precious to God and he has called you by name. And if you're walking through a trial right now, know that God is right there with you. And God's keeping power will keep you. God will enable you to stand in the middle of the trial. He will bring you through deep waters and through fiery trials. And you shall not be overtaken by them. If you will only trust in him. Amen. And that concludes this message on deep waters. God bless.